Hi, this is Lee Ellis with another installment of Leading with Honor Coaching. You know, it's a time of year when politics is going big. There was a presidential debate on TV last night, and I watched just a little bit of it. But it became, it reminded me, actually, of what our blog was about this month and what I was going to be talking about today, and that was communications and getting clarity. You really, as a leader, you need to have clarity. You know, in chapter five of our book, Engage with Honor, Building a Culture of Courageous Accountability, the title of that chapter is Clarity is Essential. And the first section is Clarity Begins with a Leader. Yes, the leader is in charge of clarity. So by reflecting and doing intentional thinking, that's what I think of when I reflect intentional thinking, you begin to see what needs to be communicated. You're thinking about how can I bring clarity to people and I've got to communicate it. So I've thought it through, now I've got to go communicate it. Well, in the POW camps, we took great risks to communicate because if you got caught communicating with another cell, you're going to be in big trouble. Might be tortured, put in solitary confinement for a while. So it was really tough. But our mission was to resist, survive, and return with honor. And because of that, that was our overall 100,000 foot mission, we were willing to take risk and we became very good at communicating in a fairly sneaky way because up there you had to. Well, it's never easy to really reflect and develop your clarity and then communicate it. You know, at the 100,000 foot level, I like to picture things in my mind. 100,000 foot level, you're talking about mission, vision, values, strategy, decisions, and those are in the um, graphic model that we use for the Engage with Honor book. It's called the Courageous Accountability Model, and those are on the left side, and they're not covered in the book except to talk about that leaders have to think about mission, vision, values, strategy, and decisions. That's the high level. And, you know, it's funny, I remembered Jack Welch recently. I was thinking about him and his book. Uh, in one of his books, he said, I had one sermon and I preached it everywhere I went over and over again because that's what it takes to get the word out. And I think as a leader, you've got to over-communicate your message. Now, moving down in this model I'm tell telling you about to 50,000 feet, that's where you're looking at industry requirements, professional requirements, your company, organizational perspective, big picture, but a little bit lower than your overall mission, vision, and values and strategy. We go down to the 25,000 foot level, the leader's operational guidelines. This is where you're going to, you as a leader are going to share with them how you want things to be run, your expectations and what your cultural expectations are. You got to communicate that and over communicate it. All of these you have to over communicate because uh, people, they forget and you want to keep their attention with those items that are important. Back down to the 15,000, 10,000, 5,000 foot level, which is getting low day to day. We're talking about the tactical things, the guidelines and information that you want them to have your expectations that you're going to communicate every day. You know, in the information age, uh, you must sort it out and make sure you clarify what's really important because there's so much going on. You have to over communicate what's really important and keep people focused on it. You know, think about your greatest leaders and how they reflected on big picture and the lower things that we've been talking about and how they communicated they communicated, they clarified, they clarified to make sure that you understood what they wanted and what their standards were and what they were expecting. Think about your great leaders. I think that's always a good thing to do because I coach myself to try to be like some of my great leaders and I'm still doing that every day because I know that I have to grow. Well, to help you this month, we have chapter five available for you from the Engage with Honor book. And this is the one about clarity. And I sure hope that you'll download it. Go to our website. You can download it right with this blog for this month. We'll have. And you can check that out and read it. And it's got some good models in it. 
uh, to clarify communicate model is in there. I think you'll really like it. So check it out. And those stories and models are going to help you really with your crucial leadership skills. Take care and God bless. We'll see you next month.